And new tonight, preparing food comes with some responsibility, and that includes making sure your hands are clean before cooking up, then serving up an order. But there are three businesses that apparently had an issue related to all of that. The night team's Tim Gerber takes us behind the kitchen door. inspectors found a long list of violations at the picnic foods located in the 1200 block of General McMullen. Lettuce that was in a state of decay, mayonnaise and raw eggs were tossed out because they weren't cold enough. The walk-in cooler where they were found was taken out of service until it could be fixed. Flies were buzzing around the coffee stand and a roach glue trap was full of roaches stuck to it. Kool-Aid jammers were tossed out after being found floating in dirty water. The hand washing sink didn't have any water supplied to it. They were also cited a second time for selling improperly labeled bags of ice. The business got a barely passing score of 72 and will need to undergo a reinspection. <laughs> Ponchos and Gringos in the 900 block of Nolan Street earned an 80 on their last inspection. Ants were crawling on plates in the ready to serve pile. Even more ants were marching around the food prep area and elsewhere. The hand washing sink pipes were not connected, which explains why no hand washing was observed during the inspection. An employee was also seen grabbing ready-to-eat toast with their bare hands. The dishwashing temperature was only 88 degrees, well below the required 110 or higher. A reinspection was ordered. <laughs> Finally, Taqueria Jalisciense in the 1600 block of Pleasanton Road got an 83. They also had a problem with hand washing. In fact, the inspector didn't see anyone wash their hands during his visit, and he didn't see any employees change their gloves while preparing different foods. There were flies in the kitchen and unpackaged cuts of raw meat were being thawed inside a cardboard box without any type of barrier. That's what's behind the kitchen door. Tim Gerber, KSAT 12 News. All right, you want to know who has good scores and who doesn't? Yes. We have a new tool just for that. Just scan this QR code with your phone and it will take you to a new mapping tool we have showing all the scores for local food businesses. The reports go back six months. They're frequently updated. You can stay away from the ants and flies and non-hand washers. There you go. That's a good place to start, though. Yeah. Just that 